Hello everyone. Welcome to the video, how to configure the TP-Link power line extender to your Wi-Fi network. This video is going to demonstrate how to configure the TP-Link power line extender to your home Wi-Fi network. You can do this in two different methods. One, copy your Wi-Fi settings from router to extender, or two, configure Wi-Fi settings manually. Both are fine. Let's go ahead and dive into both methods, shall we? First, copy Wi-Fi settings from router to extender. If your router supports WPS, it can automatically send Wi-Fi settings to your extender, allowing both to use the same SSID and password to transmit the same single network. Now, before trying this, make sure that your Wi-Fi router features a WPS button, like you can see here. Not all routers do have it, so double check, please. First, plug the power line extender into a wall near your router. Press your router's WPS button. Within two minutes, press and hold the extender's Wi-Fi button for one second. The extender's Wi-Fi LEDs will begin to blink. When the Wi-Fi LEDs are solid, configuration's complete, that's it. The extender now shares the same SSID and password as the router. Go ahead and relocate the extender wherever you need it, in the same circuits. The second method, configure Wi-Fi settings manually, is a little more involved, but it's all right. Uh, there's three different ways you can do this, via, via web browser, the TPPLC utility app, or the TPPLC app. Number one, via web browser. To begin that method, wirelessly connect your PC to the power line extender. Once connected, open your web browser and enter tppplc.net, that's tplinkplc.net in the address bar to open the management interface. Once you're there, enter the username and password. Both are admin by default, A-D-M-I-N. Once you're there, you'll see a wireless page and then go to settings. Here you can customize the wireless settings as you need. This includes changing the Wi-Fi name, SSID, and password. Save and you're done. Now you can connect to the new Wi-Fi network with the password you have just set. Moving on to method two via the TPPLC utility. Start by opening your web browser and go to our website, www.tplink.com. That's tp-link.com. Once you're there, enter the model number of your Powerline device in the search bar. Then click on the product and then its support page. On its support page, there are a few tabs. Find the Utility tab. Once you're there, look for your version of the device and click the Utility to download the zip file. Once downloaded, extract the file and open PowerlineUtility.msi. Follow the setup wizard to install the utility. Now connect your PC to the Powerline extender, either wired via Ethernet cable or wirelessly. Open TPPLC Utility. By default, it should be on your desktop as an icon. Once it's open, go ahead and move your mouse over to your Powerline extender and click the basic button. That's the gear on the top. There you are, basic. When that's opened up, enter the username and password. Again, both are admin, A-D-M-I-N, by default. Look for the wireless page and go there, and click either 2.4 gigahertz or five gigahertz. These are separate signals, so um, they can have their own SSIDs and password settings. Here, you can go ahead and enter a new SSID and password and click save. Uh, for the other band, you can do the same thing a different SSID, a different password, whatever you wish. Now you can connect to the new Wi-Fi with a password you've just set. Third method, via TPPLC app. First, download the TPPLC app from the App Store in iOS or Google Play for Android on your smartphone or tablet. Uh, 
Then connect your device to the extender's Wi-Fi network, whose default SSID and password can be found on the label of the extender, as well as the Wi-Fi info card that came with the product packaging. Open the TPPLC app and you'll see all the TP-Link PowerLine devices in your network, but if not, then drag the screen down to refresh. Select the extender and enter the management page where you can rename it and change its LED status. Enter the Wi-Fi settings page, select a band, and change the SSID and password. Click save or done and continue and you'll be disconnected from the extender. Connect to the new Wi-Fi network with the password you have just set. And that's it. Thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful and we'll see you again.